Well, guys, I'm going to do it, too. Not just like a bandwagon thing. But the Lord, for a while, has sent, I can look back now, people around me to prepare me for what I need to go do right now. Right now, I've got not much going on. I've got a case that keeps getting continued. Um, I think the Lord's going to take care of that. And I'm moving. I'm leaving to do what I can't do here. You know, here, I used to rob you. You know, I stole my mommy's pain pills when she didn't even have any. I had to break that bike. I, I was real bad pain, but there's still no excuse. I'd got that bad. My family, my best favorite cousin just died. The only one I talked to. I've got six or seven of them. I've got aunts, one aunt. I wish you could forgive me, but I forgive everybody that's trespassed against me. I'm moving forward in my life, and God needs to use me because he can communicate through me and articulate what he wants to say very well. I was just going to give you a brief description. Just jump in, ask, uh, I want to say a prayer uh, first. Dear Lord, as we pray, Lord, thank you for the state. Thank you for giving me the courage to try to even come on here and, and uh, be a light for you, Lord. And I just want to lift your name up so others may hear, actually see in a person that they've seen in jail, they've seen on drugs, they've seen just in terrible ways that you wouldn't want you preacher to look like. Well, I'm him. And I'll be all right because I got, I'm, got the Holy Ghost in me now. It sounds so, the same exact thing David had. Right? Gideon. I still am amazed by all the jewelry earrings, the thousands of pounds that they he made that ephod out of. And Well, that's a whole other story I've got for you. I've been writing. I need to write more. I'd like to start delivering a message every few days. Um, drop a comment. Let me know what you think. I'm trying to do it, y'all. I'm trying, trying to y'all pray for me. Cut my own hair, so if it's not right, you know, I had it long, at 20 inches for some reason. I, I, I'm depressed. I need the Lord in my life. I need this. I need activity to be active. My muscular dystrophy. I'm down to 189 pounds, and I'm not on meth out here, like Wood said. I. I tell you what, I had a problem when I come out of jail and I went to rehab and the rest is me dragging God and not getting on here or getting surrounding myself with a group of people. For some reason that seems hard. Maybe I can invite more people to hang around for God. If I can do that, that's awesome. So I'll be turning my brain trying to figure out ways uh, shoot don't mind but um, honestly we're live let's go live uh, I really think that music goes a long way in describing I think God could step in there and change a song every now and then, do y'all? I sure do. But Tom McDonald, regardless of his talents, has a record label. And the record label is Dopest Rappers Under God. I thought that was pretty cool. And it's a weird time right now. It's going to be a time where we need to stand up as Christians... Okay? And we're going to have to be firm. And if I mess up and cuss, I'm going to have to stand there and ask the Lord for forgiveness. But I have to go do what He wants me to do. Um, we'll try to share it. I hope 
I'm embarrassed as it can be. I remember going out and missing a field goal. That's what it feels like, but worse. Y'all pray for me. I'm trying to get I'm trying to get started, spread this blood. I I I pray and he puts me right there. I'll read right now. Sing, O heavens, and be joyful, O earth, and break forth into singing, O mountains, for the Lord hath comforted his people, and will have mercy upon his afflicted. Thank you. <laughs> Mercy. Wow. Didn't deserve that, did we? But we'll talk about more than more than that. We'll talk about Romans 6. The Bible calls the uh, God-like creatures. Uh, men of valor, I believe. Um, but took wives of all. So we get the idea there. And then we go to the walls of Jericho. We can get there. I'm a number five. I explain these things to you because it interests me. I wonder why Jesus had 12 different people around him. There's 12 different numbers of months of the year in astronomy. There, you know, stones are represented... There's a lot that's right at the surface that we're not aware of, but God is, and he loves to nudge us towards that, but not enough of us will go and it's been hard to say bye to some of my old friends, and I haven't said bye. I still invite them in and and, and make them feel at home, but now I have to focus on what God has in store in my life. I'm not even quite sure what it is yet, but I'm smart enough to figure it out. I've got a person in Vermont who told me a long time ago, he'd buy me a building. Told me that about nine months ago. If you'll come and try to preach. And it flattered me. It floored me. And you know what? At the same time, it didn't. I knew I needed to go. I should have done went. It's like I should have shaved the line out and done my eyebrows maybe a little bit closer. But I'm not here to look pretty. I'm here to glorify God, give him the give him the glory. Let's let's up the ante. Let's realize how important this second covenant is. It's the first covenant, you know. The law, right? The old testament basically. Then the prophets. They, imagine describing a helicopter if you couldn't describe a helicopter. You've never seen one. Well, I'm thinking more of Revelations and John, but um, not to get off track, I'm going to try. Maybe y'all encourage me. Leave me a line. You know, message me. Let me know pr that you're praying for me. And I'll let you know that I've probably already thought of you and been praying for you as well. See you guys.